Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll dive into the Critical Damage Type build or more properly known as the ADL build for snipers. This is currently the best endgame build for the sniper class. Agility, dexterity, and luck stats give faster and more powerful auto-attack damage, which is essential for farming monsters, clearing endless tower, and doing boss hunts. In this guide, I'll discuss the most important stats, skills, runes, equipment, enchantment, cards, pets, leveling tips, and farming spots. Since I'll be covering a lot of essential topics, I'll be splitting up this guide into free videos. In this first video, we'll tackle the recommended stats and how to allot skill points from the early game to the late game. We'll also touch into the recommended runes and guild buffs for the ADL build. In the next episode, we'll go into detail and discuss all the various equipment, cards, enchantments, and pets that are suitable for the ADL sniper. And in my final video for this series, we'll focus on leveling tips and farming spots from level 10 to level 99. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified with each episode. Alright, without further ado, let's begin! Let's start with the ADL stat build. The three stats that are important for this build are Dexterity, Agility, and Luck. The primary stat that increases range power is Dexterity. Every point of Dexterity gives 2 attack, but higher dex gives additional attack bonuses. It also increases hit so your attacks have less a chance to miss. Prioritize leveling up the stat for pure raw attack damage. Another important stat to focus on is Agility. Every point of Agility increases attack speed and flee by 1. The end goal is to achieve the maximum of 480% attack speed which can be attained by having 80 base agi plus full buffs. Lastly, we have Luck. Luck increases critical chance, critical resistance, and auto blitz chance. Critical attacks have twice the damage of normal attacks and ignore the defense of targets, so investing in Luck is really good once you're dealing decent amount of damage. Every 3 points of Luck increases crit chance by 1, and it also gives minimal amount of attack wherein every 5 Luck gets 1 attack. Now let's discuss how to distribute the stat points. Once you have changed your job into an archer, you first need to allot points on dexterity. This is because you will mostly rely on the double strafe skill for farming in which the damage is reliant on dexterity. You can also add a little bit of agility for flee and to hit faster with your auto attacks when you're out of SP. At base level 40, you may have the following base stats. 25 points on agility and the remaining points on dexterity. Once you have changed your job into a hunter, you need to distribute points equally to dexterity and agility since you will be relying more on auto attacks than double strafe for farming. Once you have a total dex of 120 points, start pumping up your luck stat for increasing crit chance and critical damage. The reason why we only add luck at this stage is because you need to have higher damage first to ensure that your critical will also yield higher damage. When you put in luck first but have little dex, you will still have low damage output. The goal is to have a crit rate of at least 60. This is to ensure that more than half of your normal attacks deal critical damage. At level 99, I recommend having the following stats. 99 dexterity, 80 agility, and the remaining points on luck. Take note that you can play around with stat distribution since it still depends on the stats that are provided by equipment, guild buffs, runes, adventure handbook, and a lot more. It will also depend of course on your personal preference. As an example, if you prefer having a higher critical rate chance or faster attack speed since you already have high attack power, then you may decrease the points on dex and distribute it on luck and agility. Next, let's discuss how to allocate skill points as a sniper. For the archer skills, allocate the points as follows. Level up Owl's Eye first to increase your attack damage. Next, get Vulture's Eye to level 10 to increase the range of your attacks and hit rate. Then increase the level of Elemental Arrow to 10 for more attack power. Finally, max out Arrow Shower which is an AoE skill that is very useful when attacking mobs and cluster spawns such as in Valhalla Ruins, Endless Tower, and Rifts. You may be wondering why are there no points for double strafe. The reason is that double strafe is only important when starting out as an archer until a hunter. However, once you have already become a sniper, you will not be spamming that skill anymore as the damage output is relatively lower compared to triggering fast critical attacks. Just use the free skill reset item once you've changed job to a sniper. 
I'll leave a video link down below about where and how to get a free skill and stat resets. Arrow Shower is better to have when you're a sniper as there is a rune which increases the damage of this skill and causes a burn effect. I will talk about it later when we get runes. For your hunter skills, prioritize leveling up improved concentration to gain both agi and dex stats. Afterwards, you need to get splitting arrows to level 5 only in order to unlock heavy arrow. It is important to max out heavy arrow next as it deals damage while at the same time increasing your auto attacks by 30% to a target. After that, start putting your points on the Blitz Beat passive skill to increase your Falcon's auto attack chance and damage. And finally, you can allot the remaining 5 points on Beastmaster to further increase your Falcon's damage. Upon reaching the Sniper job class, you need to learn True Sight first up to level 10 as using this skill would increase all base attributes by 5, attack by 10%, and critical chance by 10 for 60 seconds. Then max out the passive skill Ferity Awakening, which will give 30% higher chance to deal critical attack and also 30% higher chance to trigger Falcon damage. After that, allot 10 skill points on Trump Tamer since this passive skill increases the damage of your Falcon every time it attacks, which stacks up to 3 times. The next 10 points should be put in Wind Walk, which increases flea and movement speed. As for the remaining 5 points, you may allocate it in the Hunter Skilled Beastmaster to max it to level 10. Once you have reached the maximum job level, you can unlock the Job Breakthrough quest to extend your job level from 40 to 70. If you haven't seen my Job Breakthrough guide, I'll have it linked in the description box down below. For the additional skill points, what I recommend is to place it in the following skills. Put the first 10 points in Vulture's Eye as it increases your damage by 6% per level depending on their distance. Thus, you can have a maximum of 60% additional damage at the skill level 20 if the opponents are farther away from you. Next, place 5 points in Trump Tamer which improves your attack power and critical damage. After that, allocate 10 points in Elemental Arrow which increases your damage depending on your total deck stat. Finally, the remaining 5 points should be placed in Improved Concentration which increases Lock and Crit by 5 and Critical Damage by 5%. You may max the skill to level 20 once you have changed to your third job. Another important aspect in becoming an ADL Sniper is the Guild Buffs and Runes. You may progress in the game on your own but the impact of being in a guild is so huge that it is necessary to join one even in the early stages of the game. Having a guild gives you major advantages in terms of stats, skills, and zennies. You may also meet new friends that can help you out in quests and make your journey fun and enjoyable. One of the important features of the guild is the Guild Blessing. For this one, the only important buff that you need to raise is Combat Blessings which increases attack damage. However, you don't need to prioritize leveling this up as contribution points are more important to be used in runes. Just increase it whenever you have contribution points to spare. Last but not the least, let's talk about runes. What's good about the ADL Sniper build is that you don't need to invest a lot in runes to be strong unlike other builds and job classes. This is because majority of the Sniper runes are more suitable for Trapper or Falcon builds. Aside from that, many players prefer focusing on buying and upgrading gears first. However, there is still plenty of runes worthy of leveling up which will be really beneficial in the long run. To upgrade your runes, you need to finish the guild quest and obtain the item Acer Monument. If you haven't done that yet, I'll leave a video link down below discussing the basics about runes. In general, these are the runes that are essential for the ADL Sniper build. First, we have the Fire Arrow Shower Rune. When you first open up your runes, start making your way to the Fire Arrow Shower Rune highlighted by the red color. This upgraded skill is really helpful in quickly killing monsters since it will burn them for up to 4 times when arrows used have a fire attribute. This burn effect deals an amount of damage to monsters equivalent to a percentage of their own HP. Take note that getting this rune will also unlock the Fire in Person rune which gives additional 10% chance to trigger 50% crit damage when arrows have a fire attribute. These runes will be used when killing boss monsters that summon mobs or when farming monsters that spawn in a cluster like Sting. Next, upgrade the 3 orange runes that increase the attack of Elemental Arrow by a total of plus 3 per level. That means that at level 10 Elemental Arrow, upgrading these 3 runes give an additional 30 attack power. 
After that, you can start leveling up your dextrunes which are highlighted by a dark green color. Again, dex is important as there are huge bonuses in attack power when you have higher dex stats. Next, we have the Critical Damage Rune. These blue runes increase your critical damage. Getting these runes are prioritized, however, these are very expensive to upgrade. And finally, we have the Blitzbeat Runes. You will go over two Blitzbeat Runes to get Elemental Arrows, which increases your chance to trigger Blitzbeat by 1% each. But again, this is not a priority for the ADL build as your Falcon will deal little damage due to your low int stat. For the remaining points, you may want to level up runes that increase attack power that do not require spending gold medals. Alright, so far we discussed the stats, skills, runes, and guild buffs. I hope this guide was helpful in setting up the foundation for your ADL sniper. In my next video, I'll go into detail and discuss all the various equipment, cards, enchantments, and pets that are suitable for ADL snipers. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I'd love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.